So we're back in Photoshop with that castle that we just edited with the, the watercolor filter that we had applied. There's a cool way to edit these filters and that is with this little button right here. Double click that. It's going to open up a little window that brings up the opacity and the blend mode of this filter. So we can actually drop the opacity so that the filter isn't as strong so that we get some of the background image actually shining through the watercolor that we've painted on. We can also change the blend mode. Say we wanna choose lighten or overlay. And as we learned before, the different blend modes do all kinds of different things with our images. So you might want to play around with these blend modes to see how a filter blended into an image might look a little bit cool. And I actually like how the opacity being a little bit less than 100 looks good for the watercolor filter because the watercolor made it a little bit too dark, but dropping the opacity brings back some of that brightness. And I think you still get that texture. We can zoom in here using our zoom tool. We can see the kind of technique of that watercolor that we're getting. And you're still getting that, but it's just a little bit brighter. And I like that a lot. So that's how you can adjust the filters in just a more precise way. Have fun with that one. And in the next lesson, we're gonna be looking at how to use one of these filters in a little bit more depth called oil painting.